Hello, this is a uh, demo slash showcase slash tutorial for the new stamp tool. Uh, the stamp tool allows you to very easily place uh, a large number of assets uh, or blueprints into the world with randomized rotation and spacing and probabilities. So uh, to get started, I'm just going to add a few blueprints here. Um, let me, uh, sure, let's add some trees here, you can shift click to add multiple and then you can click to add one. And just to show the basic usage of the tool, uh, if we start brushing over here, you'll see that we get a bunch of different trees placed down. They have random your and random XZ flipping. Now these trees are very, very close together. So probably want to increase the minimum spacing here. So the minimum spacing uh, the slider makes it so that no tree will be within uh, 12 blocks of, a, of another tree, right? And so you can see the result of that here. They're now a bit more spaced out, which is nice. So in addition to minimum spacing, uh, to control the density, you also have access to base chance. Uh, now, in order for this to make a difference, typically you need this very, very low, like one or something. Uh, and then you can kind of see the, the effect of it. Now it's a, a bit sparser. Probably might even need it, need it lower than that. Uh, but you can, you can see the effect of that. In addition to being able to control that, you can also control the placement mode. So by default, it will just place the trees immediately into the world. Uh, however, you have the option to change this to deferred place mode, which allows you to uh, brush over and then it gives you these uh, gizmo boxes that you can click on and then you can for example adjust it uh, move it around maybe you know this one's hanging uh, in the middle of nowhere here so maybe let's uh, adjust that etc uh, etc et uh, and then you know uh, if you want to you can also add more and you can adjust them and then once you're happy you can hit enter and that will confirm them you can also modify the offset of the blueprints. So this is the default offset, which is just at the bottom. But of course, if we wanted to, we can, uh, for example, reduce the offset here, uh, and that would make them go into the ground like that. Of course, if you don't want the random uh, rotation, random flipping, you can turn that on and off over here. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you is the performance of the tool. So let's grab, uh, for example, just a small tree over here. Let's get a massive radius and let's get very small min spacing. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> it is extremely performant. I'm able to place uh, thousands of trees. Uh, I think this is around like 5,000 trees, I believe. Anyways, that is the stamp tool. Hope you find this one useful. I'll see you.